How you guys and girls doing today? It's Simpson Nine One Eight here. In this video, I am bringing y'all the how to make money safely, efficiently, and as quickly as possible in 2021 and escape from Tarkov. It's gonna be two parts to this video. Very first part right here. So first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go in as a scab. You're gonna want to go to factory at 15. That's daytime. We're gonna load in. I'm gonna show y'all what that we do when we get in there. All right, y'all. So we're just loading in right now. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go straight to your extracts. So we got gate three and office window. Now, this might be a little bit tricky because we've got PMCs here and it will probably be a better option for me to go to gate three window. I mean, gate three instead of going up here. But we're going to risk it for the biscuit because you have to risk things in life in order to achieve success. So not only are you getting a loot guide, but you're also getting a motivational guide. Well, that was just a scab anyway. But so we're going to extract right now. And I'm gonna show you all the very first step. So we gotta run through, that's fine. We're not really worried about it. Take a gander what we got. So we got the RBRS key, military base key. We could either, you know, we could just keep that or we could sell it, it really doesn't matter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take all this loot, right? We're gonna take this, we're gonna actually hold on to this sling. It's, it's a good thing that we actually got that. So let's drag all this stuff over here real quick. Please give me a second while we organize this inventory space here. So we skip all this stuff right here, y'all. And this is what you're going to do. This is the very first step. So every time you get a scab up and running, I have intelligence center level two up. So I get my scab faster. But every time you get your scab up, y'all, very first thing you want to want to do is just go straight to factory and immediately extract and sell all of your items uh, right now. Let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to calculate it up for y'all real quick and tell you all the total amount I get. So in this particular scab run, y'all, this particular scab run right here. We would have made over, I've sold everything. I was gonna keep the sling, but I've sold everything uh, that I got. And I've got 69,471 rubles right here, plus the key. If I were to sell the key, the key goes for in the flea market and on therapist, the same thing, a 78,000. So it's gonna be around 150,000 rubles that we just made within like, under a minute by just extracting now obviously it's not going to always be like that and this key goes for 80 grand so that's like half of the money right there but still even if you divide that by two that's still seventy four thousand just by selling the sling the rig the gun you know the ammo the magazines and all that stuff so that's pretty decent money now on to part two alrighty then y'all on to the second method so the second thing that we're going to be doing is loading into customs nighttime as you can see we've got the basics we've got a tt a magazine some rounds and a sling that's all we need Obviously, we're going to customs nighttime because we do not want to have some chads on our ass trying to kill us. This is not going to require any keys or anything like that. We're just going to go hit up these things called stashes on the map. Stashes. Oh, yeah. And another thing, another little mini tip for y'all that you might have not known. So if you go in as a hatchling, um, scavs will actually hunt you down. That's an actual thing. They will chase you down. So if you ever go in as a hatchling and wonder why you're getting chased and you know they seem to be drawn to you, it's like tagged and cursed. They are actually drawn to you. So y'all, we're just gonna go hit up these stashes and what these are, they're like literal just hidden little um, crates that you can search and they can have anything, something as small as like a spark plug in it to something as big and crazy as a slick armor. You can find anything in them. So I'm just gonna show y'all, this is the first one over across from Red Barn. We came down this hill. We spawned at Roblox side, first one in this little bush. And look at that already, y'all. Press armor. Got some tea. This is armor piercing bullets. These will probably go for like 2,000 around on the flea market. And that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be selling all of the items that we get eventually. This is the second one. So we go across, go into this little bush right here and look down, search. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be selling all the items we get on the flea market right when we get out. So, you know, we'll leave some things. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Already out of space. We're going to have to pick and choose. I believe this armored rig will go more. What is this? Level three. Inspect. Level four. So we'll take the level four. We'll drop this. Cigarettes. We'll just put everything in our gamma. Search it. Make sure we're not missing anything. All right. Let's keep it moving. All righty then, y'all. So what we're doing now is we are actually close to dorms, but we're not going to go there. We're going to head across the street. And then once we head across the street to, you know, the dorm side, so dorms to our left and old construction to our right, we're going to go right into this blue bin. Right into this blue bin and search this stash right here. 
Aramid, that sells for a decent amount. And another round of a grenade. I think that's the grenade launcher thing. Next up, we're going to come on top of this hill. We're just going to hug this wall. Like you said, like we said earlier, we do not want to engage in PvP whatsoever. Uh, the Chads that do come in tonight, time, we're going to be rocking MVGs and shit like that. And, you know, looking for fights. So we're going to turn this corner right here. This is a good old bus depot. This is a little bit of a riskier one. But um, we're going to come over here and go. But I heard something. Lord, we're going to go right to this tire. And just like that, another stash right here. So we get near. Ooh, a survive kit. Okay. So we can take some things out. Get that survive kit going. We've even got ourselves a cat. And we've got, the, I believe this is at the top. Yeah, the Cayman Hybrid Ballistic. Okay. We'll take this as well, obviously. Let's turn back around. We'll go right back to the other side like this. And this is a little bit tricky, especially to see at nighttime. There's an actual stash hidden right beside this tree. So we're going to hit the stash. And we want to hurry up and loot this and get out of this area as fast. Look at that, y'all. You said trooper armor. Oh, my God. We're going to have to dump this. Get that USEC trooper armor. Let's keep it moving. Let's get out of this area. And see, the thing about this method, y'all, is you can definitely bring a bigger book bag, but this is the most efficient method because bringing a sling only costs you 2000 while paying for something like a tri-zip, which is a pretty decent-sized book bag, is going to cost you 40000 So I'm really trying to get y'all the most amount of profit without potentially going in already negative $40,000 in the hole and not making that much money out. So you can definitely bring a bigger book bag and even bring a full gear set if you want to go full on Chad while you're looting come up here so like we said went to that hole in the wall where dorms is we come up here to the left right up here there's like another stash behind this little gate we loot that find a t-plug and we're going to be you know swapping things out as we find more viable things so a fuse we can switch that out for the cat maybe to shanko switch that out for the measuring tape uh everything else is like kind of if you really we can take that t-plug just keep it moving so where we're at right now, y'all, is on the opposite hill from where I was just at. We're actually overlooking the gas station, um, the newer gas station, I guess you could say, across the hill. And we're looting another stash right behind these blue fences. Got some gunpowder. Oh, we can even put on a hat to be stylish if we want to. Um, we can keep the air mid. Let's toss out this. And you know what? We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's just toss out the ammo. Get that good blue gunpowder. Keep on running. Here's another trickier one to see y'all, but when you run straight from that hill up there, you want to run straight and there's actually a tree at this angle. There's like two trees really close to each other. You'll look down and you'll see another stash. I'm going to loot this bad boy here so we can get, look at that, a 6B47 helmet. Oh my goodness. Let's go y'all. Got some AP rounds, only one round though, so no big deal. Let's keep on moving. So we come down here, y'all, and this is actually at the very end of where SCAV checkpoint is, the military checkpoint. I'm going to keep on coming back and all the way back here behind this good old dumpster is another one. So we're going to go ahead and loot this. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. Ooh, an air filter. Ooh, okay. So we're going to toss that air mid to the side and grab that air filter there. Just keep it moving. sweep our sectors make sure you do a clean sweep go right through this hole in the wall look right to your left at this tree right here boom let the stash baby oh this looks like it's gonna be a juicy one y'all oh my gosh and see y'all this is why right here man it's like a blessing and a curse level four right look at that level five gonna have to drop that for this right here y'all keep it moving found a gazelle would you look at that keep on going we got two more to check so we're gonna come over here and be careful because over here obviously this is an extract people like to camp over here people like to even check this building to my right there's some pretty highly viable stuff in these buildings 
So we're gonna come on over here, right on this corner, another stash. Let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, baby girl. We got some M61 rounds, y'all. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually throw out that grenade and get these M61 rounds. Everything else is not what we want. Oh no. I don't know if I heard somebody in there or that was the stash closing. So we're gonna go over here and the last stash we're gonna hit y'all. Be careful, people do like to camp over in this corner. It's in this little bush right here. So we're gonna sweep the sector all the way, make sure no one's there, turn back around. Look straight down. You can actually hear you when you're walking on it. Search this bad boy. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a pack of nails. Oh, look, we found a toes. <laughs> Not super crazy, but a toes. We can drop this fuse. I think nails are going to sell for more. Not 100% sure. We're going to get that. And then I think, you know what? We're going to drop this magazine for some sodium. <laughs> no, we didn't have to use the gun anyway. So, all right. And now we're going to extract. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna take this right here and we are going to sell absolutely every single thing that we've got on the flea market, except for the toes, you know, no big deal with the toes, right? We can sell that straight to mechanic. So we're gonna go ahead and sell all this on the flea market and you could definitely sell these to the therapist or the other traders if you don't have the flea market unlocked yet. You don't get the flea market until level 10, but I would highly advise you wait until the flea market opens up to you. You'll make so much money and you would be losing so much money if you try to sell it to the traders. It's a huge waste. You might as well just keep everything. So we're gonna sell every single one of these items on the flea market and then I will tell y'all the total amount I got for all this stuff once it sells. Alrighty then y'all. So after I've sold absolutely everything we got from from that raid on the flea market, it came out to be 350,394 rubles. We take that and combine it with the 69,000 that we got earlier. Remember, I didn't sell the key on, or it would have been 150,000, but we combine this in under 25 minutes, probably less than that if you want to, you know, take out the amount of time we spent, you know, waiting for the raid to commence we made over 419,000 and that y'all is the way right there in under 20 minutes 419,000 rubles y'all so think about that in under three raids you could make around 1.2 million rubles if you just kept on going so remember that's the very that's the second step right there and the very first step by the time you get out of the raid sell everything on the flea market and make your profit your scab will be ready and then you'll run right back into factory and repeat that process run to the factory as a scab extract sell all your stuff and then go right back to customs and go to all the stashes and hit them y'all 419,000 in under 20 minutes not that bad right so let me know down in the comments below what y'all think of this video man if y'all enjoyed this video please let a brother know if y'all want more guides like this i'll be happy to do them let me know and i will catch y'all in the next video. So now I'm going to out of here.